What did you make of Kirby Smart's speech before the national title game? Oh, man, are, are we on air? <laughs> People can hear me. <laughs> no lie. Actually, on the podcast, uh, I ranked the pregame speeches I've had from my six NFL head coaches, and there's none coming close to what Kirby Smart said. I wish I could repeat it right now, but on the podcast, I do. Point being, that was the hypest, most direct, primal engaging pregame speech I've ever heard. Like, there's not going to be another one that touches that one because he went straight to the source of why are we playing football? I don't want to always hear these big terms and phrases and execution and discipline and commitment. No, go <laughs> knock their... <laughs> That's it. Like when you first start playing football before you knew how to play, before you knew the plays, you knew the scheme, you knew to go knock that dude. Like, and he just went back to channel zero. And that was the best thing I've ever heard. If I were on that team, I would have helped out and chipped in on that 65 to 7 win. <laughs> Unreal. You ever had a bad pregame speech by a coach? Ah, uh, ah, uh, since I'm doing this for a job, um, I'm sorry, coaches, but I have to say it. Um, yeah, I did because sometimes they would go to the emotional lane too soon. Uh, sometimes they would say something that was just too soft and glossy. And we're like, dude, we're about to go out there for three hours and hit 300 pounders. And you're sounding like I'm going to a, a play recital or something. You're sounding like we're going to theater. I need something vicious. I need some of that Kirby smart. So Mike Riley was a great coach for me, but too nice. So his pregame speeches came out too nice. They were like kind of Girl Scout cookie selling. Like, you know, like, we're like, all right, coach, that sounds good. He never got <laughs> rah-rah. He never got riled up. Uh, Marty Schottenheimer got so emotional so fast that you were like, yeah, I'm not in that place yet, coach. I'm still I'm still just hyped up. It's zero, zero. Was he crying? Up. Oh, hell yeah. Marty, Marty loved, rest in peace, the great Marty Schottenheimer. He was so passionate. He loved football so much, and I'm not lying. So much, he would literally just start crying. It could be a Wednesday practice. It could be his pregame speech. He just really felt it, and his lip would start <laughs> shivering. I was like, man, I'm not there yet, Marty. Give me a different lane, and then we can get going. <laughs> a Wednesday practice, and he's getting that emotional. Yeah, he's into it, man. It's crazy. But So you, it runs the gamut. Then you get some guys that, you know, they're so hyped up, and you're like, oh, my God, this is going down. And then you go out there and lay an egg, and you're like, well, that speech <laughs> had nothing to do with it, or we didn't serve up to 